Okay, let's get started with making uh, this banner. Um, so I went up to File New. I'm going to make the width about 701. Actually, no, let's change it. Let's make it 550. 550 by... Yeah, 125 will be good. Okay. Now, um, the first thing before you start... Um, is always create a new background don't edit the background layer um, that's something with my uh, with my endeavors and looking in Photoshop different things like that that is what I've heard to do just ignore that to do that so um, what we're gonna do is I have a picture here of Trent Edwards so that he's gonna be the first I'm going to throw him in here, but um, actually let's, no, let's not do that. Let's do some background here. So what I'll do is I usually like to label it style. And because this is the Buffalo Bills, I'll use the color red. Now um, I'm going to use some custom brushes here. Um, it all depends on what you exactly want. You know, that's, you know, that's up to you what you're going to want to do. So, um, actually, I don't like that. Let's, let's do this. Now, what I'm going to do here is I want to just drop the opacity a little bit. I want to dim those out. Then I'm going to make another one called Style 2. This one, you guess it, is going to be some blue. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be smart, and I'm actually going to click on this picture here. Because I want to match it to the way the bills look. And we'll find ourselves a nice brush here to use. Um, sometimes they're, you know, they are kind of big with some of these brushes that people have. Let's try that and see how that works. Um, of course, that the reason for that is... Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move that, so I'm going to move the st the regular style above it. See, so as, as you go through this, you will slowly learn, you know, different, different things that you can do. Always create a new layer. When you have something you somewhat like, um, that's exactly what you, fir you know, you firstly want to really, really get into is that. And let me find something else here. Probably should have went out and got a, um, some form of, uh, football thing. Wasn't thinking. Okay, here you go. Then I want to do. I want to go back to red here. Just want to drop the opacity. I could do something, do not like that, but you might want to do something like this. Or this and drop the opacity down. That's too low. So, here you can kind of see what I got here. A mixture of a few different things. Now that I kind of got that the way I'm going to like it, I'm not going to mess around with it or else this tutorial is going to go 30, 40 minutes. I'm going to select all those layers and I want to merge those layers and I'm going to type um, 
I like to type new background, or actually like this. I now delete that layer because you can now it'll kind of give you that transparency. So now we will rename this background. Now we're going to add the new layer. We're going to call this layer Trent because now we're going to bring Trent Edwards in here. Now because this is background or a transparent background that kind of really really helps us so we can go to edit copy and we're gonna come back here making sure trend is still highlighted go to edit paste so now you, you you've got this now you're gonna say to me oh it looks great I'm done well, not exactly. Holding shift. I'm going to bring it down here. Oh, let me do that again. The key is, is do not let go of the shift key first. Or else that is going to call you, so you all types of problems. Now, the problem with this is, um, I kind of liked it where it was, but I changed my mind here because of that hand. I didn't, the picture I got that from uh, didn't have his hand in there. So, I'm going to do that. Yeah, doesn't that look good now? It's starting to look pretty good. Well, you could also transparing them in if you wanted to, but we don't want to do that. Then we're going to do this, and we're going to name this one Bills Fan. I'm going to watch my time here. So I'm going to click on the text tool. What I like to do is I just like to do first. Let's get that text out there. Now we'll pick something. I'll pick like Courier New. I kind of like Courier New myself. I really don't like the color there of the font. So I'm going to go into white. Well, maybe not. Maybe Courier New won't work here. Let's try this one. Oof. You could spend hours beyond hours on what font to use. So there's that. Uh, let's get that text a little bit bigger. And last thing I want to do here is I want to go and just hit the FX and I'm going to do a drop shadow. And I'm going to do the drop shadow of white. Now let's do. So there's that, and let's do that. And there we go. So right there is um, a quick, easy to do signature. Um, I thank you. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and you can always find me on live.jrock2004.net. Thank you.